Why do you wear this cross? We ask our Christian brethren this question. We are a family in humanity. And we ask this question with humility, sincerity, and love, truly wanting the best for all of mankind, not with any hate or trying to put somebody down. We are just sincerely trying to get people to intellectually think. Why? If Jesus, who we love dearly, by the way, is one of the mightiest messengers ever sent by God, who was calling the people to only worship the one almighty creator, not himself or his blessed mother Mary, but only the creator alone without any intermediaries. Now back to the question. Why do you wear the cross around your neck? Have you really thought about it or are you just blindly imitating and fitting it? Someone might say this represents his sacrifice and his dying for my sins on the cross. Side note. Jesus never ever told people to worship him as a God, literal son of God, or that he was coming to die for people's sins. This has nothing to do with his true message or teachings, which we'll get to in a moment. If Jesus, as you say, was killed, just for an example, on an electric chair, would you be wearing a miniature representation of an electric chair around your neck? Or if he was hung would it be a rope killed with a machete? Or if they had guns at that time and was killed in front of a firing squad, would you be wearing a 30 caliber Winchester rifle or bow and arrow around your neck? You see, the cross has become a good luck charm, an idol in and of itself, which totally goes against Jesus' true teachings and message. So by wearing the cross and worshiping him, you are totally doing opposite of what he told you to do. We see rappers, gangsters, fashion celebrities wearing this modern day idol around their necks while doing the most evil things. The cross at the end of the day can't help you. Only the Almighty can help you if you turn to him alone. There are some very sincere and good people whom really love Jesus and it's those people whom we want to help educate and let them know that this is exactly what Jesus and all the messengers whom the Creator sent warned people against. And that was against idol worship or anything that can lead up to it, against human worship, saint worship, and any kind of creation worship. They all called people to worship the Creator alone and not His creation. At your worst of times and the best of times to only call on the Almighty alone without any middlemen, to stay away from black magic, spirit worship, supposed good luck charms, and these strange and weird incantations and superstitions. To think and to not blindly follow your ancestors and popular cultural traditions. If you really love Jesus, do what He told you to do. He only worshipped the Creator and called people away from creation worship. There's a statement that we can confirm, he said, because it matches the consistent message of all the prophets and the messengers that the Almighty sent. It's in John 17, 3. It says, Now this is eternal life, that they may know you, referring to the Almighty Creator, to the one God, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. That is Islam, the Shahada. This is the truth. Submitting to the fact that there is nothing worthy of any kind of worship except the one creator alone and Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him is the last and final messenger that would automatically include the belief in all the messengers that came before him including Abraham Moses and Jesus the Messiah the Christ this is pure monotheism I tell people that a great place to start is in the heart you got to be sincere and earnestly asking the Almighty alone to guide you to that which is pleasing to Him. Start doing that today.